What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Chef, Saria, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American Reaction. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us and, and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell. Because we're, we're on the road to 200K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's get it. Number one. And so we're going to... Hold on, we got to hear you now. Hold on. Oh, yeah, well, Situated on Morocco's Atlantic coast, Essaouira is a great place to get away from the heat and the bustle of the bigger cities. The in the 1960s, the seaside town was a popular hangout for icons such as Bob Marley and even Jimi Hendrix. The beach is well known for kite surfing, while the town charms with the narrow streets, red and blue painted houses and ramparts that overlook the busy harbour. Wait, did he just say Jimi Hendrix and Bob Marley walk these streets? Mm -hmm. Lifestyle. Yep. Just something to know when you pull up, because it's like the, re the the realization of it. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like once upon a time around, uh, sometime around this time, Bob Marley could have been standing where you was just standing. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a legend. Mm -hmm. A legend. But I want to say that place, y'all going to have to tell us a little bit more about that, because it kind of looked like no one's there. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe he just got up early in the morning and do it. Right. And film. Number two, Fez. Come on, man. Medieval Fez served as Morocco's capital for more than 400 years and is still an important religious and cultural center. The old walled part of the city was founded in the 9th century and recognized by UNESCO for its historical importance of the Idrisid dynasty architecture. Overall, Fez is the cultural heart of Morocco where many of the country's handicrafts originate has plenty of history and a truly mysterious and winding Medina, unlike any other in Morocco. And don't forget, Fez is one of the oldest cities in Africa and is well worth the visit. And don't forget the Al Karawin, which is a mosque and associated university as one of the oldest in the world. By the way, the city of Meknes is 50 minutes away by train and it's also known for its imperial past so it's something that you could also do while visiting Fez. Visiting Marrakesh is like an attack on the senses. It's vibrant, colourful, historic and totally amazing to visit. The city's historic old town fills the air with the smell of spices, food and sometimes the tanneries are inescapable. For an authentic experience, just embrace the chaos and stay within the city walls in a traditional Riyadh. Then go shopping in the maze like souks and don't forget to bargain. Be sure to explore the palaces. And from here in Marrakesh is where you can take multiple trips towards places such as the Atlas Mountains and many nice other excursions. So don't forget to check it out. Well, I am Ooh, loving... air balloons back there, see? Oh, wait, it sold me even more. Come on, man. What I am loving so far is that each city has a different vibe. I'm loving that. Now, I'm definitely going to go to the one with the, the quality seafood. But this one seems more along our vibe. Mm -hmm. You know? And don't forget to bargain. <laughs> Look like y'all got okay. some cool stuff, too. I'll be look in everybody's spot. What you got? Mm -hmm. Trying to see what's going on. Number four. Eight. Bin Haddu. Eight Bin Haddu in Morocco is a beautiful mud brick fortified village mm. located in the southeast of the country 
and has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1987. A small village was built around 1,000 years ago and was then an important point along the caravan route. Today, it's one of the most interesting places to visit in Morocco and the most attractive stop for round trips across the country. Due to its unique architecture and incredibly magical ambience, it's actually become a film set for many famous movies. Oh wow, okay, okay. For example, Gladiator, Lawrence of Arabia, and even that crappy season 8 series, Game of Thrones. Okay, so obviously it's well preserved. Mm -hmm. At first I was asking myself and you, I was like, do people still live there? Because the man was walking and it, you know, it looked like he was just so comfortable. But it looks well preserved. And I mean, if it's such an old kingdom like that, for everybody who has kept this up, because 900%. this looks untouched. This looks really good. And yeah. if you were standing from a distance, you won't see this. Mm -hmm. So obviously it, it was really blended for a reason. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me probably tall too at one point. It's probably ducked up, yeah. Number five. Marzuga. Located on the edge of the Erg Chebi Dune Sea, the small town of Mazuga acts as a gateway to the dramatic wilderness of the Sahara Desert. It's right here where you will find an authentic experience of Bedouin life. The best way to explore the dramatic natural surroundings of Merzuga is on the camelback or jeep. It's truly an unforgettable experience and one of the best things you can do in Morocco, especially if you want a desert adventure. Number six, which is over to another kingdom, mm -hmm. and you know, you know, uh, exchange yeah, things that way, do yeah. their trades and spices and stuff. That's what this is really reminding me of. Yeah, but just time has taken its turn on it. Yeah, just one little change just made it pop. Mm -hmm. It's quite a sleepy town most of the year, but in we the like summer months, towns. as I mentioned, <laughs> its population triples, and the streets Our and city. town beach are crammed. The best time of the year may be to visit is spring or autumn, where the weather is still pleasant, but the holiday hordes have left. Number 7. Tangier. Tangier is the gateway to Africa for those travelling by sea from southern Europe. Mm. This beautiful and fascinating city had played a major role in the history of Morocco in the 20th century. That's connected with the writing and study and appreciation of literature. And it's this very history and culture that attracts tourists far and wide. For example, Tangier is what inspired famous works like the movie Sheltering Sky or the novel Naked Lunch. So if you're into history and you enjoy the historical vibes and the chill vibes there, of the cafes overlooking the harbour and being close to the beach, then Tangier is the perfect trip for your holiday. Number eight, Chef Shawin. Chef Shawin. Nestled amidst the scenic peaks of the mountains, Chef Shawin is a small town in a big landscape. It is the center of creativity, attracting painters and photographers with its clear light, serene blue painted houses. The old quarter of the town is heavily influenced by Islamic and Andalusian architecture. You can browse local arts and crafts in the quaint shops of the Medina or enjoy a drink or sample fine Moroccan cuisine the surrounding countryside is also full of beautiful hiking trails. Mm -hmm. 
very artsy, so this is like my neck of the woods right here, y'all. Yeah. I'm like, I'm loving the art and architecture. They can't hear you, babe. Oh, again, <laughs> yeah, I be getting all, I'm be all in the video. But uh, yeah, this is definitely my neck of the woods. A lot of art and architecture, yeah, you can find me there all day. It's different when they paint the city with art compared to you walk into a building mm -hmm. and it's wall, like the paint yes. on the wall for the people come in just to see. Like, it's your whole lifestyle then. Yes, yes. It's different. So it looks like it's going to be a road trip mm. when we do come to Morocco. Okay, yeah. when we do come, it looks like it's going to be a road trip. <laughs> Number nine. In Suan. Agadir sits by the Atlantic Ocean on Morocco's okay. southern coast, cold water, though, see. virtually destroyed and that's then cold. rebuilt following an earthquake oh, in 1960. Oh, that's tight. And just a short ride away lies another place that you should visit. It's on the beach. That's, that's nice. Morocco's hidden gem, Imsuan, is rapidly becoming one of the world's favorite surf trip destinations. Surf trips. Laid back and tranquil old fishing town its traditional charm making it a favorite for many visiting Morocco. It's great to visit during the winter and its beautiful scenery and two versatile surf spots make it the ultimate surf trip destination. What if surfing is easy because they're not afraid to fall? Go try it and let me know. Well, I'm just saying like you're falling <laughs> in water like you fall you just get up and do it again but if you're skateboarding <laughs> You fall, might have to stay there until right. you. <sighs> Water can hurt too, though. Water can hurt. If you're falling from a distance, it can hurt. That's a distance. That's like just. Bloop. Mm -hmm. You gotta really be a really good singer. I mean, not singer, swimmer. Swimmer? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nah, that's nice though. They, yeah, that's really good. This must be like happy heart. Yeah, that was Morocco, and I can easily tell you from experience. It was that location right here that I was looking at. What was that, you guys? Yeah. Like, is this like they was washing things or prepping things? Like, but I know it was all filled with water. Mhm. Mm yeah. So. Yeah, one of them looked like they were. Cleaning clothes, I think. It looked like it was cleaning some yeah. cloth or some yeah. fabric. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Morocco seems like a cool place. You know, we saw some things that we like mm -hmm. that we will, you know, do some more research on. You have anything to say, babe? No, that is it. All right. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way, as well as our reaction request forms in our description, description box below. below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.